Hi everyone, I'm Catherine from the Lady Critics Library and this is my review for Dancer Girl by Carol M. Pansman. This is a novel that I got through NetGalley for review last year and only just got around to reading sometime in January. It was a crazy emotional creeptastic roller coaster ride. I mean, this was one of those books that made it, ooh, I just struck the camera, sorry, that made you really stop and think about who you are and, and how you represent yourself online. Um, the basis of this novel is this, the main character, Allie, is a crazy phenomenal dancer. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here on the floor. Um, and she is at a party and a friend of her starts videotaping her and kind of does this like fake love letter stalker thing online which she gets involved in because it develops quite a repartee and Dancer Girl is born. They don't use her real name, they just call her Dancer Girl. The guy who shoots the video, his name is Shy Guy and they kind of just create these little faux movies that they post and they they become very, very popular. And then all of a sudden there's a movie that's posted and it's not a planned one. It wasn't something that she was privy to. It was her dancing around in her room in her underwear while practicing a dance routine. So thus the stalker is born. Um, and it just, it snowballs from there. I mean, I could not stop reading it. I did not want to stop reading it, but I also knew that I wasn't going to be sleeping very well that night. Um, so anyways, that's the whole premise. But then there's also the side story in this novel about Allie and her best friend Jace. Um, they grew up together, they live in the same apartment building together in the city, and all of a sudden he starts pulling away from her. And even though he wants to help her with this stalker problem and protect her, he's just not the person that she always used to know. So you're dealing with the mystery of that, of why he's acting the way he is, and then the mystery of the stalker. And I don't really want to give anything else away because it ruins the entire book. It is really a, um, a novel that you have to experience without being told a lot about because if you're told too much it will ruin it. Okay, sorry about that, my camera just died. Uh, the internal memory was used up, so I had to delete some stuff. Anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, okay, so this is the type of novel that you really need to experience firsthand. I cannot tell you um, what happens too much beyond, you know, what we really get in the summary description, um, because it's one of those ones that it needs to build up in your head as it's going. You need to have that sense of doubt. You need to be suspicious of every single character. Um, you really need to be able to unravel the mystery by yourself. So I'm not going to go too far into that, but anyways. Um, let's talk about the characters. So Allie is our main character. She is a fantabulous dancer. She's still in high school. And dancing is basically her life. So when, um, Dancer Girl goes viral and all of this negativity comes from it, she really starts to question herself. And in questioning herself really loses a part of herself as well. Um, which, of course, you know, it's a happy ending story, but, uh, yeah, so, hi Sophie, you be good. Um, anyway, so, then you have her best friend, Jace, and, um, Jace, of course, is our main love interest, and he is pulling away from Allie, and we don't find out why until, obviously, the climax. Um, what are you doing? Sorry, she's getting into everything. Um, don't step up. Hi. Anyway, so, um, between the two of them, I'm trying to film. You, you really get this great character retrospect. That is so the wrong word, but anyways, they're great characters to read. Um, they're... They're dealing with their feelings, they're dealing with being friends, and, and, you know, what's going on with both of their lives. Can you not step on my computer? You're ruining it. Get off of it. Thank you. What'd you just do? Turn something off. You messed up my computer. You froze it. 
Anyway, while well, Sophie wrecks everything, um, come here and say hello to the camera. Say hi. Say hi, Sophie. Oh, no, look at the camera, you see? There you go. Now go play with something. Your piglet's on the floor. Anyway, so yeah, they're good characters to read about. Um, especially Allie, because it is told in first-person perspective. You really do get to know her inner workings, and you feel her feelings. And um, she's just, she's very real that way. Obviously, I mean, she's just a teenage girl, and you really get to know a lot about her. And you, you go through those feelings that, you know, teenage girls have in high school. Oh, I just kicked the camera again. Um, so yeah, it's, the characters were brilliantly written, um, especially for, get off my camera, thank you, just come and stay here, um, especially for the novel, and yeah, um, so yeah, that plot, um, the mystery is fantastic, uh, if you really, really want a good one, where it's a whodunit, crazy, psychological thriller type thing, um, this is really a novel that you might want to check out if you like long, young adult books. And I'm going to end this review before that happens. Okay. While I hold the camera in my hand, um, Dancer Girl by Carol M. Well, I check this again. Tansman. I want to call her last name Turgeon, but that's not right. Um, I'm going to give this novel a 7 out of 10 on my scale. I gave it a 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. It really was pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna sign off before Sophie tries to kill herself trying to get onto my bed. Okay, I'll see you guys all next time. Sorry for this very whacked out review. And, um, happy reading everyone. Bye! It breeds this type of intense infatuation with some people. And it just, I mean, it really can get out of hand. I mean, have you never watched episodes of Criminal Minds? Criminal Minds is like a really, really out there, psychotic, scary show, which I love. Oh my god, I'm in such love with Spencer Reed. But anyways, anyways, anyways. So, um, this book. It's along the same basis as that, only, you know, minus the BAU. But you get this whole mystery, and it's just, you have this feeling of unease while you're reading it, because you don't know what's going to happen next. You can't expect what's going to happen. And you don't know who it is. It could be anyone. Whenever I go out, wherever it may be, never is a Rakiana, but a dribble looking at me. But then even if I discourage a loser on the dance floor, take a deep breath, count.